All right, so your homeschool year is probably mapped out. Your curriculum is ready to go. Your homeschool space is nice and tidy and you're rearing to go and you can't wait until the first day of school. But the thing is, is that you don't wanna dive in head first. Instead, you want to just put your toes in a little bit of time and get acclimated to the waters. And that is why I recommend starting the year out slowly. So let's get into it. Starting the year off slowly helps you get your bearings and get used to the new year for everyone, not just you, the kids too. And you haven't figured out your rhythm yet because you're coming off of summer mode and entering back into school mode. And you know, the kids have gotten older and you may have new curriculum and new classes that kids are taking. And so you need to get used to your new rhythm for the year. And on top of that, you want to celebrate your first day of school instead of getting right into the academics. And so there are ways that you can celebrate. Like we like to go on a field trip and go out to eat for lunch and get some frozen yogurt as a way to celebrate our first day of school. Whereas other, other people like to have, like to gift their kids baskets full of school supplies. Some go to Disneyland and don't have a school day. So when you start your new school year, you want to not do all the academics at once, even though you're excited to, to tackle them. You want to just start with one and feel comfortable with that before you introduce any new curriculum into the mix. Yeah, sure, some of us that have been homeschooling for a while, we're kind of used to our routine, but it does change year to year, depending on the classes that my kids take. And as my kids get older, their curriculum changes as well. Starting the year off slowly is a great way to ensure that you don't have burnout, that you don't have power struggles, because it's very common for new homeschool families that first month is awesome and exciting. And then things start to fizzle out. There's good, they start having power struggles. They start, people start burning out. They can't keep up with the pace that they been, had been working out in the beginning because, you know, when you do something new, it's exciting and fun until, you know, everything settles in and then you realize, whoa, this is a lot that we're doing and maybe we need to scale back. So instead of scaling back, slowly move in. Something to consider for those of you that are new to homeschooling or those of you that have been homeschooling but have been having struggles, let me know in the comments below how you like to start your school year. Are you the type that likes to go all in or do you slowly get into the groove of homeschooling? Or do you just homeschool year round that there is no real start or end to your homeschool year? 